Even if the opponent grabs double arm, double hand, I can do that. I can release the weapon and throw the opponent with the cane. Okay, again, if he grabs double hand, I can, again, release and multiple strikes against the opponent. Now, the important thing about this is that the same techniques work empty hand. So if the opponent was to grab me, cross arm grab, I can affect the same technique. This is a nasty lock. The opponent is down, the opponent is helpless. He grabs again. I can release this, go in with a strike, turn that into a throwing technique, follow down this with a knee strike, with follow-up techniques. Opponent grabs again. Opponent grabs again. I can just release this. Opponent grabs the other side. Just release this. So you start to see that the same, again, the same techniques work. Grabbing empty hand, grabbing cane. One more time, let's go through that. This is important. This is stuff that you can take away from this show with you. Against the grab, rotate the hand counterclockwise, grab onto the wrist, and just press down, holding his hand in place. Now it's hard to see the effect of this, but if it's being done to you, you will feel it. Okay? If he grabs, if I rotate my hand up, now, now what's happening here, I'm gonna turn a bit so the camera can see this. From here, the opponent is grabbing. The idea is that there is not much strength in the thumb between the thumb and the fingers. So if I just rotate my hand up against the thumb, I can release it. If I push this down, I bring him down into me and I can feed the strike and I can affect the throw again. Okay. If he grabs one more time, I can release the same move horizontally and go back with the strike and I can affect a similar kind of a throw. And I follow up with my striking, anything I want, elbows, Again, I would like to uh, ask Matthew and uh, Al to demonstrate the grab releases against the cane. brings us to a point where I'd like to talk about using two weapons. And we have special drills that we use to develop the skill uh, for using the two weapon. We call these uh, drills Senawali, whereas we interleave the movements of the cane to create uh, a very tight defense. The thing that's important about this, uh, using two weapons, as you notice when I did the earlier disarms, Many times, I end up with both weapons in my hand. I don't want to throw the weapon down. I have two, so I want to be able to use them. This develops that kind of skill for us. So what I will we'll ask uh, Matthew and Al to do for is to demonstrate the center while he movement. And then I will show you, once that's been demonstrated, how to disarm. I end up with two weapons, how to strike with two weapons. Al. First demonstration we're going to do is single simwali. Thank 
Thank you, Al. Thank you, Matthew. I want to take this time to uh, to talk a little bit about uh, what went on in those two Senawalis. I'm going to go over those again slow so you can see what's happening. And then I'm, then I'm going to show you the translations, how we translate these movements into the empty hand set the trans If you, if you watch this slow motion, intercepting his first strike, this is double. My second cane intercepts his second strike, and I strike with the third strike. Let's try that again. Intercept the first strike, second strike, strike on the third strike. Empty hand translation. Opponent throws the strike, intercept, intercept, and strike. Direct translation. Again, intercept, intercept, and intercept. From the other side, intercept, intercept, and intercept. Again, intercept, intercept, and intercept. And from here, if I want to follow up, I can always follow up with the throwing technique. And notice in this case, the opponent is all tied up. There's another set of uh, drills that we do. Another set of drills that we do, we call sombratas. These drills are again to design, to develop coordination and skill and learning to defend against the opponent. We call it sombrata. I'd like to have Al and uh, Matthew demonstrate uh, the six step sombrata. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Matthew. And finally, I'm going to uh, go into the last part of the demo, which is purely the empty hand techniques. We call it Cadena de Mano. The thing that's important about this is if you look back at the flow techniques as we demonstrated the, the cane drills, this is the key to the empty hand, that everything flows very smooth, smoothly. So I'll demonstrate this slowly. Against the punch, slowly. I'll slip outside, intercept this, check it. I can do some destruction against the arm, more destruction, striking, striking, throwing, follow up. Again, throws the punch again, other side, strike, strike, destruction, throwing, the opponent doesn't go, say he doesn't go in this case, I can kick to the groin, kick with the knee, throw, smash the knee. Again, the opponent throws a strike. I can intercept, go in with the elbow, come down, bring the head to the knee, elbow smash, choke, stamping kick, bring the opponent down, follow up with my strike. This time I'd like to finally ask, uh, again, Matthew and Al to go through some of the basic uh, Cadena de Mano technique. I think maybe we'll have time for one or two. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Al. I think we're about out of time, so I think I should turn this over to George again. Okay.